The main problem of Trasova is the inability to stop in time. Sasha is constantly taking risks, and this prevents her from winning. Sasha Trasova's priorities are best demonstrated by a dialogue with Daniel Glachenge in KISS and Edge at the 2018 Junior World Championships, the very one with which the era of extreme difficulty in women's skating began, and now learn to ride. Lutz and Triple Axel. Lutz submitted quickly, already in the next junior season. Things were much worse with Axel. During the Olympic cycle, Sasha managed to learn five different quads, of which only Rittberger has not yet been performed at competitions, assemble the most difficult arbitrary in the world, go to Plushenko and return to Tutbirds. The only thing that Sasha never managed to do was a pure triple Axel. Of the nine official attempts, the best one was worth 6.24 points. For comparison, Balieva gets more than 11 for a triple axel, to Tamashiva, about 10. Like Hanyu, Trisova takes the maximum risk. But risk and gold are not always compatible. Maximalism is harmful for figure skating. To many, it seems alien and even funny, it is enough to recall Alexei Yagudin's comments about the quadruple axel Yuzuru Hanyu. I didn't understand what the joke was. He rode with two tasks, a quadruple axel and win an Olympic medal. In the end, neither one nor the other. Of course, it is impossible to put an equal sign between the stories of Trisova and Hanyu. The quadruple axle eventually deprived Yuzuru of medals, but if the Japanese were interested in silver or bronze, he would have shown up for the team tournament. Hanyu decided to take an outright risk, having already become a two-time Olympic champion, and at the same time knowing perfectly well that it was almost impossible to catch up with Chen. Sasha's situation is different. The technical revolution in women's skating began with her, but it wasn't Trisova who benefited from it at all. Hanyu, after the fourth place in Beijing, rejoiced at the historic axle, albeit executed with a fall, but still not lowered to triple. Sasha was crying, despite the long-awaited five quads, because all this time she refused to accept that the maximum of fours and Olympic gold are not interrelated concepts. On the eve of the 2022 Olympics, the New York Times released a voluminous study on how the Ultra C changed women's singles. The most impressive part of it is the comparison of the number of quads and triple axles at the Russian Championships, from 0 in 2018 to 14 in 2022. A huge contribution to this progress belongs to Trisova. Sasha's Beijing hire with five fours is important regardless of medals. It's about how sometimes maximalists in figure skating still become happy people even if only for 10 minutes. But they don't always become winners. I haven't won a major competition for three years. I thought that if I jumped everything, I would win, but it didn't happen. On the eve of the women's free program, Evgeny Plushenko formulated the main, in his opinion, the problem of cowardice, the inability to stop in time. She could have easily won the world championship last year. But everything again rested on the triple axel. Yes, I performed cleanly in Moscow during training. But in Stockholm on the day of the start of the short program of 15 attempts, not a single successful one. Naturally, I said that it was not necessary to include it in the program. However, he could not be persuaded. As a result, Sasha made a mistake on this jump and flew all the way to 12th place. Plushenko rewrote the history of Drusova, after a short one at the World Cup, she dropped out of the top 10, remaining without a cascade. Sasha did not perform any triple axel on the contrary, she jumped double with good allowances. But Yevgeny's words that it is impossible to convince Drusova about her content are similar to the truth, the same follows from her words in the mixed zone after the Olympic short. However, the main reason for Trisova's silver is not her desire to jump the triple axel, but the fact that Sasha's views on figure skating are radically different from those preached by Isu. I haven't won a major competition for three years. I thought that if I jumped everything, I would win, but it didn't happen. It is likely that according to the Goa Cruel system four years ago, Trusova would have won. Sturbakava simply might not have enough allowances to beat the 16 points lag in the base cost. But after Korea, the rules changed, the quality and purity of the elements began to be valued above complexity. Only on Gosh Cherbakova won back more than 10 points of technical lag from Trusova. Sasha's quadruple sheepskin coat with a bad exit cost her 7 points. Kaori Sakamoto brought the same amount to her triple Lutz with an unclear rib. A quadruple Lutz with a half turn and a quarter in the bonus zone is only 3 points more expensive than Anya's triple, at 4 referees out of. 9. Trisova lost to Sturbakova even in the free program. Of course, five quads would have worked if Sasha had performed them the way she did at the control rentals. 
The point is not only in the higher quality of those fours, but also in the presentation. The most driving Cruella remained in Chelyabinsk. Trisova's chances of gold with a double axle would be higher. But even he didn't guarantee her victory. The difference in the approaches of Sasha and Anya manifested itself in the short program. While Trisova was once again claiming the triple axle, Shcherbakova opted for the sheepskin coat with the second jump in the cascade, because with Rittberger this season it turned out every other time. Theoretically, with a more complex cascade, Anya could score even more. Her personal best in the short is 81.07 with the KCHM 2021. But the potential risks were also higher, and for Shcherbakova, with a weaker base relative to her rivals, it was important to roll back her set perfectly on both days. In fact, even with a double axle and a short one, Sasha would most likely lose to Anya by the sum of the two programs. The best result of a coward with such content is three points higher than the Olympic one. The final gap from Shcherbakova is slightly more than four. It is possible, however, that with a clean rental, Sasha would have put higher components on the games. But according to this parameter, the judges have already turned out to be loyal to Trisova. Her second score for rolling with a full is absolutely identical to the one she was given for a clean performance in the United States at the beginning of the season. What you should not do is reproach Trusova for her emotionality about silver. I haven't won anything for three years, when you train in the most competitive group in the world, implies that there are always winners around you. I in such an atmosphere, there is no stormy joy about a medal of a different dignity, as Kaori Sakamoto has now, or Caitlin Osmond in Pyeongchang. In Beijing, Sasha did not just miss gold, but lost faith in what seemed obvious to her before, and it should not be easy to transfer it to 17 years old.